Hey guys, I'm back with a few more digital recommendations for you. Today we're looking at my top five Chrome extensions that I use pretty much every single day. Awesome Screenshot. Awesome Screenshot lets you grab any part of the page, a full page, selected areas, or just delay something, and then does a countdown to grab a part of the website. Once you have the screenshot, you can draw on it, change anything, write on it, or demonstrate anything that you want to demonstrate to someone before saving it as a PDF or a JPEG. You can also use it to actually do video recordings as well, just like this. Uber Suggest. Uber Suggest is an extremely powerful SEO tool for keyword planning as well. If we search something such as Boston Web Design, uh, we can see related terms over here in the right hand column, the search volume based on those phrases, the average cost per click, and also the competitive nature of that term or phrase when it comes to organic SEO. If we scroll down, we can see number one on Google My Business, number one organically, and this extension allows us to look at domain authority and estimated visits on a monthly basis. Similar web. Similar web lets you grab analytics from pretty much any website. If it's not listed, you can add it, but this gives you some high level analytics from Google, um, the things you might want to know about your competitors, uh, geographic regions for visitation, as well as traffic sources and what that stuff looks like for anyone. Canned replies. Canned replies lets you set up things that you might say fairly often or links that you might share fairly often. So you can put a title in, a body, add it to a list of a bunch of other things that you might have on a frequent basis. You can use the drop down to then copy something and put it in an email. So. Affiliate links, that's what I pretty much use it for all the time. Eyedropper, sometimes when you're on a website, you just wanna know what color something is. Eyedropper lets you do that. You can click on it, hover over the element, click, then use that extension to find the exact hex code. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you have any feedback, please leave it in the comments and hope to give you guys some more tips and tricks soon. Thanks.